Okay, greetings everyone. Today we're going to learn how to create a window using the C++ language and the Windows API. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so before we get into the code, I am just going to sort of actually show you the kind of like the shell of the code. So I'm going to start right here. So we include the windows.h header and basically if you were to just take out the the details and just look at the main parts basically you would see this so we start with this um, function right here and uh, we have also this function as well and here you can see all of this is inside the function so really and truly um, we're seeing that we have two main functions the window PR proc or I'm just gonna call it proc the window proc function and the win main function so this the for the win main function no this is where your um your program actually is going to or the compiler is basically going to start reading your program from this section right here so basically you're treating the win main as your main function when you first write your hello world and you type, type in int main and your open and close brackets and then you have your wing brackets and the rest of the code the win main is that equivalent of that main function so this is just the skeleton, you can just look at it. And well, this is basically saying that type your code here. I'm just saying that there is some other code that is needed there. Now, after that, no, I'm just basically created, uh, I guess I made a copy of the file and I just simply filled in some details about each section. So I'm just gonna slowly move through this so you can actually read it. I don't, I am just going to, yeah, I'm just going to allow you to read this so as not to spend um, too much time on this because you really want to see the actual um, window being created. So let's roll through this really quickly so you can read that and uh, have that section. Let's just do this. Okay. All right. So there you go. So you can read through that if you want some more information, but I just thought it would be a good idea to so I'll just show you like the shell. So now we go into the, let me, okay, all right. So let's go into the actual window now. Okay, so here we go. We have the include windows.h. We have the header and here is where we're filling those, those sections where you saw me write the, or is it now, code or the, basically suggesting that some line of code is needed. Here we go. So we have a switch. And uh, I made some comments right here, just basically trying to understand exactly everything that's happening. I don't fully understand the entire code, but this is what I have so far. And uh, we have the erase board. So this is our switch statement that's going to be related to the window proc function. And we come down here now to our win mean. So here we go. This is the entry point to the program. So naturally, if you were to like use a debugger and you were to say create a breakpoint, for example, like right here, it should start from this section because this is the entry point to your program. So you can try that out if you like. And uh, continuing, here we go. We create the window. This is the name. So you can take a look at the comments that I've made there. And uh, here's the rest. Set the background color of the window to black and uh, show and update the window and we have the message loop so there it is that's the that is how you create the window you would basically have this this format right here and now we want to see it running so i'm just going to say run and uh, okay let me go again probably i had something highlighted right so there we go. So it, it runs. Now you might encounter a problem if you're if you have your default VS Code um, code runner, you would probably run into you well, you would definitely run into some problems. So I'm going I'm going to show you how you would fix that. Now, if you use Code Runner to run this code and you find you get into problems, here's how you're gonna fix it. So you're gonna go to settings. And you're going to type in code runner X C. Well, you should see code runner executor map, and you're going to say edit in settings.json. And what you're going to look for is I basically put mine at the top, but you're going to look for CPP in the quotation marks, double in the double quotes. 
I brought mine to the top because I'm using the C++ language. As you can see, these are other languages as well. You would, you would, um, you would be able to recognize Python, Java, JavaScript. So because I'm using C++ or I'm learning the C++ language, I just simply copied mine and placed it at the top of the list so it's, I can easily see it. So you don't necessarily have to have this um, code right here that I have in, in the same line as um, CPP. But just for this video, you can copy it over. You can make whatever changes you want. For example, I decided to have my, have the, when I have decided, when I run, use Code Runner to run any CPP file, it will create an object file. And I just did that because I, I just like it. But you don't have to have this part. So we're just moving along. And the most important part is going to be this section right here, where you see dash or minus LGDI32. What you're doing right here is you're linking against the GDI32 library. This is very important because if you don't have this part, you will going to, you're going to get some errors, basically, a lot of errors. So basically, this all this is doing right here is just simely creating the object file, creating the executor file, linking against the GDI32 library. And after it does all of that, now it's going to start the Windows command prompt. Let me, and uh, well, since the since nothing is really going to be displayed, well, I guess the only thing that is going to be displayed is the pause where you're going to see press any key to continue. So this is the code that you, you can just copy over. So I'm going to go back now and you saw where it actually runs. So I'm just going to run it again. And there you go. Now, this was using Code Runner. Now, I'm going to show you how to do it using the task. Now, basically, I'm just in, I could just use build only where it just simply builds it, but I'm going to scroll down here and I already have this task now where it will build and run. So, it basically, you're going to see the window showing up. Now, again, it's important to link against the GDI32. And uh, you saw where I made a uh, a comment right here so you can just read this to get some more information about it that's this section right here so this is the task that i'm going to run so i'm going to go back to my cpp file and i'm going to say Control r i created a short that that shortcut right there is what i use to run any tasks and since i have two tasks those are the ones that are displayed here so i'm going to select the build and run and we're going to wait And there we go. So we have the window. Now, this window is using the A, this is basically coded in the ANSI version or the non Unicode version. So, the, basically, this is not, this is using non wide character string. Now, I'm going to show you the second version, which is the Unicode version. Oh, hold on. There we go. This one. So it's kind of going to be the same, but there are going to be some minor changes. So because we're using the wide character string, instead of using, for example, take a look at line 24. Instead of using text out, we saw this is text out W, but in the ANSI version, we see text out A. So that's a difference. This is using wide character string. This one is not using it. So this is the Unicode version, and okay, I actually made a change here, but this should be W win main to suggest that it's using white character string. And over here, no, instead of LP STR, this should be LP W STR. However, if I try to run this, you're going to see it's saying an undefined reference to, right, undefined reference to win main. So basically what that is saying is that the compiler is looking for the function win main, but right here we have w win main, so it has no idea what's happening. So now to fix this error, um, I, well, I have been unable to keep this function without any errors showing or to have this entire code run without any errors. But I know that you can actually basically set this to win main and you can take away the LP str and you can run it but then again now this would not be unicode anymore it would be non-unicode so it will sort of defeat the purpose but 
oh my bad i should another thing as well when you highlight a section and you press run it's going to try to run the highlighted section no you don't want that so i'm going to press run again and you're going to see that it's going to work so there we go and we have the window so everything is fine well not exactly take a look at this the letter m is this is the letter m is shown here and this is where the title of the window should be but if you look in my code you would see where the title or the, the name of my window is my unicode window but you're seeing only the m is being displayed so this is so yeah while this will fix the problem by changing the removing the w from the win main and also removing w from this section right here called lpstr it will you you will be able to get the window working but you're going to have some problems and here is one such problem so if you can tell me what i am missing or anything that i should change because i really want to keep the w right here so if you can just give me a heads up as to you know, what i should change or where the problem is you can just let me know in the comments so yeah, for now, this is the window that I am using or the window code that I'm using for the Windows API. So there you go. And yeah, that, that's it. So if this video was helpful to you, please like and subscribe. If you have any problems or have any questions, you can just leave a comment and I will see you again in the next video. All right. So peace.